Hey there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. If you're a wood turner like I am, you're always looking for that next best finish. I've got a bunch of great finishes in front of me here. The problem though is that they either take too many coats to get to that high shine, they require too much time to dry, or they require a ton of sanding. This is where friction polish comes in. It's very easy to make, even easier to apply, and it leaves a really durable high shine finish probably the reason there are so many videos on YouTube about this stuff. So today I'm going to explain what it is, why you should make it, how to make it, and then we'll do a demonstration on, on the application. Let's get started. Friction polish is nothing more than boiled linseed oil mixed with shellac and cut with denatured alcohol. Now the heat generated from the friction of applying this allows it to dry almost instantaneously, which leaves you with a really nice shine. Now let me explain how to make it and why you're going to want to make it. Here's why you need to make your own friction polish. You can go to the store and you can spend $3 an ounce. Yes, $3 an ounce. Or you can make it yourself for $0.50 cents an ounce. And what's great is you probably already have most of what you need to make it anyway. If you work with resins, you're going to have denatured alcohol. And if you're a woodworker, you're going to have shellac and boiled linseed oil. What's even better is that you can pick up one of these condiment containers, they're airtight, and they're pre-graduated. So you don't even have to measure anything out. You just fill to the designated lines. And the ratio is a simple one to one to one mix of these three components. Let's mix it up. I've gone ahead and marked the graduations on this container because they're probably a little bit hard to see at 100, 200, and 300 milliliters. We'll go ahead and we will start with the shellac. We'll add some boiled linseed oil. And finally, we'll put in the denatured alcohol. And this, my friends, is homemade friction polish. Probably the hardest thing you'll do all day today. Now let me show you what it looks like to apply. We're ready to go ahead and apply the friction polish and you'll notice that there's been some separation here in the bottle. This is perfectly normal, so you'll just want to give it a quick shake before you do the application. Now I roughed out this dowel from Walnut and it's worth noting that the higher grit you use to sand, and I've gone up to 800, the higher the shine will be once you apply the friction polish. I'm going to apply to this end and we'll give this a quick shake. And the first application, and you don't need a lot of this stuff, first application is just going to be uh, without the lathe running. Um, you'll get better penetration if you do this um, with the lathe off for the first coat. Okay. I'm going to spin the lathe to about 1200 RPM and we'll take a look at uh, the results. Again, you don't need a lot. Make sure you're wearing eye protection and you never want to apply the polish directly to the wood while the lathe is spinning or it'll uh, spin up into your eyes. I'm applying moderate friction. I want to get this nice and warm, generate some heat so that this cures. Okay. You'll know that you're doing it correctly when you see this. It, it almost appears to be a waxy film on the paper here. You always want to use either a paper shop towel or a kitchen paper towel. Never use cotton or a rag. I'm going to go ahead and put one more coat on and we'll take a look at the results. Again, I'm applying moderate pressure here so we can get the friction polish to cure. And wow, is this popping. Take a look at this. Just two coats. This stuff is really amazing. From this demonstration, I hope you see why this is so awesome, so easy, and so cheap to make. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.